should be different in math. And what math means we should be different in math other than the show. Hi there. Chico Haji, your math show. So for today, we are trying to prove that root 2 is irrational. Alright, in math, uh, we don't usually prove directly. Okay, there is a proof called proof by contradiction, where we assume the contradiction is true. Alright? Okay, so for instance, in this case, if root 2 is irrational, that is the one that you're supposed to prove, okay, we will start by assuming that root 2 is rational. Okay, so let's do that. Assume okay, root 2 is indeed rational. Okay, so what, okay, what can we say here is that root 2 can be written as a fraction b over q. Okay, so this fraction has certain properties. Okay, we don't want them to have common vectors. For instance, I don't want this to be 2 and this to be 8. Because we, we know we can cancel the top. Okay, so they cannot have common vectors. They are integers, but they cannot have common vectors. Okay, so what we'll do next is that we try to square both sides. Okay, so squaring a root 2 will give you 2. Okay, on this side, you'll get e squared over q squared. Right? You bring this up, you'll get 2 q squared is equal to p squared. Right? Which also means p squared is equal to 2 q squared. Okay? Here we have almost finished the proof. Okay? So basically what will happen here is that we have proven that p squared is uh, 2 times of another number. Okay? When p squared is 2 times of another number, that means p squared is indeed even. Alright, if p square is even, okay, p is also even. Okay, why is that so? Okay, only two even numbers when multiplied to each other will make an even number. Okay, so for instance, if I do the opposite, odd times odd, let's say 3 times 5 is 15, it's still odd. Okay, but if I take 2 times 8, okay, that will be 16 and it's still even. Right. Okay, so if, if this statement is true, your p is even. Okay, so if p is even, okay, and p squared is also even. Okay, you see, if p is even, it is, it is two times of something. Okay, so when you take p squared, right, it will be four times of something. Okay, it's a multiple of four. So if p square is a multiple of 4, you need to take a look at If this side is a multiple of 4, okay, that means when you bring the 2 over, right, okay, find your q square, okay, q square, because 4 divided by 2, right, okay, so q square is also even, which makes, again, using this uh, understanding, right, if q square is even, now q is even. Okay, here we arrive at a contradiction. Okay, we have p is even, and we also have q is even. Okay, if both are even, that means they have common vectors, which goes against our first rule that these two integers cannot have common vectors. Okay, and thus we arrive at a contradiction, right? Okay, therefore we have proven that group two cannot be rational, but group two is indeed irrational. So that's it for today. Okay, always remember to shout yourself math and math will show itself.